everybody i have a dollar tree haul to show you okay so today i'm going to be transplanting my tomatoes either today or tomorrow i'm going to be getting some soil so whenever i get the soil i'm going to transplant them into five gallon buckets that i have and so i'm going to have a bunch of extra soil hopefully so i thought you know what i'm going to run to the dollar tree and get a few uh, inexpensive planters where i can start um planting some succulents that I have in the ground here I could transplant them into these um, these are just going to be temporary containers and um, and then I want to start growing some herbs and um, I want to put them in containers instead of in the ground because uh, last time when I had lived in a nice house I had everything planted in the ground and when I moved I couldn't take anything with me except for one giant um, succulent plant and um, so I went from that house to a studio apartment and I lived up high and I had my succulent outside the door and somebody actually climbed up there and stole my succulent plant. So I ended up not having anything from there that I had grown and so I thought, you know what, I can't make that mistake this time. So I'm not planning to move anytime soon, but I just thought, you know what, since I'm gonna have that extra soil, I might as well make some extra plants so i'm just going to use these these are um this is a four pack for dollar 25 and look you can drill the holes and i thought this will be good starters for my succulent plants and then if i need a gift i can always gift a succulent in one of these and it'd be inexpensive and then they can transplant it later so what i want to do is start some small pieces in these containers and then slowly buy some nice planters that i can transplant these into and take those with me. So um, I had bought some of these plastic containers back when I lived at the nice house. And in this heat here in the valley, these did not last for the entire summer outside. They cracked and uh, some of them even like disintegrated. But I thought these are good for temporary just to use as starters and then move to nicer pots. And then at the end of the summer, if they're all broken up, then I just toss them and it wasn't that much money that I spent. So this one here is a two pack and it's a three tier planter. So there's two pieces, two planters in here that I could take apart and I can grow some herbs in here really nice. And there's two, so I can actually grow six different items in here um, for $1.25. You can't beat that. And then again, as I get some nicer planters, I'll transplant. And then this was only one and it's a little bit bigger. It's a three tier and this was $1.25. So I was able to get four, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 separate planters for $1.25 each. So that was five bucks. So five bucks for 10 uh, planters. And then if you count these, that, that's extras that um, you could count. Okay, and then um, I needed to get another shovel. So they had this there, $1.25. And I have one of these outside, but my handle broke off. So I had still been using it like that, but I thought, okay, I need another one. Once I transplant those tomatoes, um, I needed something better. So I got that. And then they had this planter there. This is bigger. And um, you see, you can drill the holes. And I thought, I wanna transplant some cactus. So I thought I can use this for cactus. So it's a little bit bigger. And then um, when I was there, I saw these, um, these are like sand pail buckets for the beach. Or, you know, you can use them in the backyard too. They're for kids. But I thought, you know what? I can um, drill some holes in here and use these as planters. And look, they even came with the little scoops. And I thought, I can use these for something. They're not super sturdy, but you know, you get a bucket and a scoop for $1.25. You can't beat that. So I thought, okay, I do want to plant some more tomatoes. Now, the ones I have growing now, I'm going to put in five-gallon buckets. But these are really big buckets. Look at that. And I thought, that will be nice to plant something in. And look how cute. Look how cute this is. The design. Look, they're sharks. A lobster little nemos isn't that so cute so i don't know what my son's gonna say when he comes over but i thought that would be good 
and um so i got those and then i also got i didn't need this but um it's a sandpaper block it's the whole holder and the sandpaper for dollar 25 and i thought i hadn't seen that before and i thought that's neat and uh, one time one of my boys was over and he asked if i had sandpaper and i was like no but i thought now i have it if they ever need it when they come over and then they have these refills it's 36 pack of sandpaper and look they have different um grades of sandpaper look at there's two of each or ten of some and um this is what it looks like i thought that's nice so now i have sandpaper if i ever need it i don't need it right now but if i ever need it i got it so here we go this is what i got at dollar tree i spent 13 dollars and 41 cents and um this month i'm trying not to spend any money i'm saving all my food budget and supply budget for my july electric bill so i won't know what that bill will be until um mid mid month of this month so once i find out what my bill is whatever i have left over i'm gonna go um get some more food but um i have a lot of food here so it's not like um i'm doing without so that's no that's no problem and right now i'm trying to eat down my freezer in case the power goes out with a because we're having triple digits today and tomorrow <coughs> and in the summer it gets real hot here so um we have rolling blackouts sometimes where the power goes out so i thought you know what i'm gonna start eating down my freezer so right now that i'm not grocery shopping i'm trying to make all my meals from the freezer and fridge and um i have a lot of pantry items so um i have plenty of food so this summer i'm going to try to buy very little food and just go through what i have um, so i can use that money for my electric bill so this is my dollar tree haul 1341. okay everybody thank you for watching